What's up, everybody? How y'all doing today? Hump day, Wednesday. Tonight, SEC 365 Live, right here on the Twisted Tailgate channel. I get asked a lot every day, and I'm going to pose this question to a lot of you YouTubers out there that have channels. Why did you start your YouTube channel? Um, I've come to learn there's... There's a difference in YouTube channels. A lot of people do this as a business, a full-time job. And then you have YouTubers that do it for fun, that enjoy doing it. And I got to thinking on why I started a YouTube channel. Um, and I think back to when I first started watching YouTube a couple years back, uh, finding more channels, learning more about guys. Um, you know, they made it look real fun. A lot of fun, cut up, laugh, joke, trash talk. Um, and I was like, man, I like to do that. I love talking college football, talking trash talk. Um, looks like fun. But people ask me every day on my regular job, or did I meet? Well, what do you do uh, YouTube? And I started thinking about it. I'm like, when I first got into it, it was about having fun, cutting up, trash talking. Um, meeting people you know i watch guys like lou and pete and then carolina jackpot some of my friends and buddies and um i know lou pete does it full time i know jackpot has a regular job he does it part time like me i have a regular job i have a stressful job there's probably not a day that goes by that i don't between phone calls text messages emails um on top of having to be on job sites, monitoring, making sure everyone's doing what they're supposed to do, uh, getting things done that haven't been done. Uh, you know, I had to sit down and think why well, I do YouTube, and it's an escape for me. It's an escape from my everyday job, the stress, the, uh, I don't know, the emails, uh, get to get on YouTube and cut up and have fun. I've met so many great people since starting this channel. Um, you know, along with Mark Rogers and Mr. Joy Foster with the opportunity to do the South Carolina channel over on the Voice of College Football South Carolina for Mark. And, uh, you know, he allows me to do that show on his big channel to uh, great business opportunity to try to develop a small business. And I always said, you know, Rooster, if you ever get to do a small business, what would it be? Well, I always wanted to have a little two-story type tiki bar on a beach where the top level was my home and my little bar. Maybe a little tattoo shop, something fun, you know, downstairs. Uh, I wanted to do something fun. So when I got into the YouTube thing, I wanted to do something fun. So I wanted to make my YouTube channel fun. Well, then I learned there's business behind it, and I started doing business. Sorry, I get a dry throat. You know how it is when you're out here in the heat of Florida right now. It's about 110 degrees. But back to the subject. I wanted to do something that was fun. I wanted to cut up trash tall. Um, I really didn't look at it as a small business until I started opportunities started coming my way and I'm like you know what maybe I can make a little bit of money off of YouTube is that my retirement plan no uh, there are much better YouTubers much better personalities than myself but I started taking myself a little too serious and uh, got away from what I wanted to be which was me my personality um, and got a little bit into maybe overdoing YouTube just the research that a lot of the guys that do it full time do to know the things that they know. Um, it, it is a full time job if you want to take it to that level. And that was the one thing I wanted to get away from. I didn't want to take it to that level because there's a lot of times and when I get to the hotel or I get home in the afternoon from work that I have to still do work. In the last couple of weeks, I've gotten a couple jobs that haven't started off great. A lot of issues not of my companies but of people we work for um 
and it got to be where I couldn't make videos. And I've noticed this hurt my channel not to put out videos every day. Um, but I don't want to put out a video about bull crap. You know, I just don't. Um, like the stories that have come out about this Georgia kid and stuff. And right now it's all allegations. I don't know if there's proof behind it. But you see all these people that are trashing the kid and trashing Kirby Smart and the coach and stuff. And you're like, you know what? There used to be a time in, in the world where you were... Um, innocent until proven guilty but now this day and age with social media um twitters and facebooks and all this stuff um even an allegation you're you're considered guilty um through an allegation and, and it's in the real world too you know you do something um the, the workforce anymore man you can't do nothing you can't say things you used to could say you, I've gone through so much management training when it comes to how to speak to your employees um, just because of the lawsuits man everybody wants to sue somebody everybody wants to get that free dollar anymore and it's just like nobody wants to get out and earn and work and uh, do it the old school way like I was taught to do it you know cutting grass in the yard for a quarter 50 cent to be able to go to the store and get a pack of bubble gum when I was a kid um, so it kind of takes the fun out of some of the things you can say and do anymore. Um, like even if you're doing things in a joking manner and someone takes it the wrong way, next thing you know, human resources involved, you can get in trouble. So I had to take this personality test uh, when it came to being a manager. And uh, I think it was called Myers-Briggs or something. And it tells you about yourself because you answer 1,005,000 questions and some of them are trick questions on importance of things and, and a lot of the questions are goofy stuff um but it tells you about your personality and it tells me you know i came through said so my strongest suit ever in the world is problem solving which fits my job because that's basically what all i do all day long and solve problems fix things uh make sure everyone has what they need to perform their job try to get jobs finished up that kind of thing there's a lot of money involved um, multi-millions of dollars honestly but I wanted to do something fun and that was YouTube to take me away to take the stress away to have something you know that just says I get to go disappear from the world a little while I'm gonna jump on YouTube I've made a lot of great friends that come on my shows now like Huffer Billy uh, Gangcock Chuck uh, Vic Tube, love Vic Tube. That's my little buddy right there. Uh, Chess Hall now comes on the SEC show with me. Another good dude. Um, you know, of course, there's Pete, Lou, Jack Pine, all these people I met at the Slob Olympics. That almost Raj, all the guys I'm gonna see traveling fools. I'll see all these people again at the softball game July 22nd, Stedham, Georgia. If you ain't signed up for it, everyone needs to show up for it because it is an escape for all of us to go and do that. And you know. I know Lou and Pete and them, they travel, do some gambling stuff. I can't do gambling, and I don't get to travel as much as I want to because of my job. So going to the softball games and going to the Slop Olympics is a release for me. It's something I get to go and enjoy doing with a lot of people that are my age and people that are younger, but we all cut up and we have fun and we laugh. Um, I had one of the best times of my life hanging out with them guys at the Slop Olympics back in March. Um... So I just, you know, I'm gonna get back to recording my videos, and but I'm gonna get back to putting my personality in these videos. Uh, yesterday I dropped a couple of videos about the NCAA now trying to change a bunch of rules when it comes to NIL, and then they put some more stuff out that they're trying to change all these rules for transfer portal, uh, change the dates, make it shorter. Like all of a sudden now the NCAA woke up. They've been on like a, I don't know, hibernating for the last 20 years. But uh, now they want to make a lot of changes and do a bunch of stuff. I've seen that come out today. Um, just a lot of things that uh, we're going to talk about. And I want people to tune in to the shows. I drop links. Come in and discuss these type of things with me. I want to expand my channel. But I want to have fun doing it. And uh, I, just, I guess I just want to say thank you. I appreciate my wife that puts up with me to do this. Because it stresses her out too. Because sometimes I'm like, I don't get to do... I take away time sometimes with her and she says you're doing youtube too much you're, you're focused in on youtube trying to learn too much trying to figure out all these teams and know all this stuff 
you're just putting too much time in it for when you first started you had too much fun with it so i'm going to get back to having fun with youtube and uh, i hope all you guys want to come join me and have fun when we cut up laugh drink a cold beer whatever we need to do to just to escape from today and that's what the twisted tailgate is about that's what tailgating is about tailgating is about escaping from every day letting the stress go go enjoy football games baseball games whatever you do to go tailgating even if it's just tailgating at the beach cooking some burgers doing some fishing whatever tailgating is it's everything to to get away from a highly stressful life and i just want to say thank you to everyone that supports the channel to subscribe to the channel it's been amazing almost 300 subscribers i just started the channel in january and i'm appreciative for everyone that subscribes um i don't know everyone that subscribed to the channel but i can tell you i appreciate you and uh rooster man's gonna get out of here for today don't forget to tune in tonight sec 365 live please hit the like hit the subscribe button to the channel if you like uh my videos and just remember it's about having fun it's not all about being serious and uh i just want to say thank you appreciate you and uh see you tonight at seven Peace.